We do want to get to this breaking news this morning on WikiLeaks, the website that's been putting tens of thousands of leaked secret documents on the Internet. WikiLeaks founder Julian Assange arrested in Britain this morning to face sexual assault charges. CBS News correspondent Elizabeth Palmer joins us in London this morning with the very latest. Elizabeth, good morning. Good morning. Yes, first thing this morning, uh, Julian Assange went along with his lawyer to a London police station where he was arrested on an Interpol warrant. He's in custody now, and in about two hours, he's going to go before a magistrate at a London court. This is just the opening round in what will probably be a long legal battle over Julian Assange. The court hearing is to decide whether he should be sent to Sweden for questioning in a sexual assault case. It's a move Assange's legal team will fight in case the Swedes then hand him over to the United States, where public figures have called for his execution. I'm concerned that he won't get due process. Over the past nine days, WikiLeaks has published a steady stream of confidential State Department cables embarrassing and infuriating the U.S. government. In his last public statement online last Friday, Assange warned that his arrest won't stop the drip-drip of leaked confidential documents. It's not only the legal net that's tightening on Assange, the financial one is too. PayPal and MasterCard are reported to have stopped processing donations for WikiLeaks, and Assange's Swiss bank has closed his account. Now, a little later on uh, this afternoon, we'll find out whether Julian has asked for bail, been granted bail, but we do understand that there's a substantial bail fund being pulled together in case he needs it. Erica? Uh, you mentioned a little bit, uh, you had someone talking about the concern over whether or not the Swedes would hand him over at some, some point, possibly, to the U.S. Uh, how much of a possibility is that, that he could, in fact, be brought to the U.S. for some sort of prosecution? Well, the U.S. hasn't asked for him yet, uh, but uh, Eric Holder has made it clear, the Attorney General, that uh, the U.S. is trying to figure out how to prosecute. Uh, they have to be careful, because if they charged him with uh, a, a crime that carried the death penalty, no European country would hand him over. So they have to get the charge exactly right. And we Erica? know that is something they're still trying to figure out in general as well. As with Palmer in London this morning, thanks.